This Tuesday, June 5th, you have the opportunity to witness a historical moment in space and time. You're going to see this little tiny black dot slowly over about six hours going across the face of the sun. It's called the transit of Venus. A transit happens when a planet crosses between Earth and the sun. And Venus does this every couple of years, but most of the time the orbit's such that Venus will pass above the sun or below the sun, and only rarely does it come across the face of the sun. Maybe astronomy doesn't rock your world. Well, keep in mind, there won't be another transit of Venus for another 105 years. Eight years ago was the last one. That was 2004, but we couldn't see it from Victoria. You had to be over in Europe or Eastern North America in order to see it. And it's only happened seven times in the past 400 years. The next one is in December 2117. So unless you're going to be living for another 105 years, we've got Venus and the Sun, and this is the Moon. And this is about how it's going to look. The transit begins at 3.05 p.m. Tuesday afternoon and will end around 9 p.m. Venus coming in between us and the Sun and then about a month from now it's going to be about like that and Venus is going to be the morning star and so it's going to come up just before the Sun comes up and we're going to see this really bright beautiful Venus in the morning all summer long. As with viewing an eclipse do not look directly at the Sun. The solar disk is extremely bright and it'll burn a hole in your retina and kill the nerve cells in your retina. So you need to have certain solar filters to protect your eyes. So a number 14 welder's glass is sufficient and we have special solar filters that we use. Uh, we give to people, lend to people so that they can put them on over their eyes. And we also have special solar filters for our telescope so that we can look at the sun. You can view it from many different places, including the University of Victoria. The best place, I think, to view it is from the roof of the Bob Wright building, okay? And we're going to be open for, to the public from about 3 o'clock until 9 p.m. The Centre of the Universe in Saanich and the Royal Astronomical Society of Canada also offer viewpoints. Now we just need the weather gods to cooperate. As it is today is not good for tomorrow afternoon. It looks like there might be some breaks in the clouds. So keep your fingers crossed and we'll hope for the best. From the University of Victoria, I'm Dan Kahn for The Daily.